So I've got something to admit to you before we get into today's episode. If you read the show notes, you should be expecting something like this. Okay, maybe not to the maybe not to the extreme that I kind of got it to. But anyways, if today's episode sounds a bit funky, I do apologize. See, Demasi and I use this program called Source Connect Now. We've upgraded our workflow since we recorded that episode talking about our workflow. And one thing that Source Connect Now does is a great job at recording your audio. <laughs> the one thing Source Connect Now does not do is a great job at keeping your audio uploaded while you're recording. So I got interrupted by a door bell yesterday, right after we got done recording, I ended up having to go all the way through today's episode. We're going to re-record next week's episode, so I don't have to do it again. Thank you, Demasi. And what I had to do was drop my voice clips back in there. Now, it's not exactly what I said, but I think I, I think I did a pretty good job. Let me know what you think of this week's episode. Hopefully, you love it as much as I loved going back in and reproducing it. And of course, head on over to yarnpay.com forward slash 22 to get your free trial of convert kit. Thank you. Arigato. The Your Own Pay Podcast Network. Inspiring, motivating, and educating entrepreneurs around the world. <laughs> hey, bro. Let's get into this thing. It's Demasi and Michael just talking tech. Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is Demasi and Michael for the DM show this week. This is DM22. So we have doubled up since the last time I was excited about 11, right? So, uh... Coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia, and joining me, as always, Michael Babcock. Mike, what's up? Not much. Coming to you from the beautiful Oregon coast. You can follow me on Twitter at Pam, P-A-Y-O-W-N. And how can they follow you, Demasi? You can get me at Demasi, D-A-M-A-S-H-E. So, Mike, what do we want to talk to people about today? I think it's a very important subject, but uh, I'm going to let Mike lean in because he's got a little story to tell with it, too. <laughs> I sure do. And today's topic is very important. That is the importance of backing up your digital life. Now, over the weekend, I threw a tamper tantrum. I'll be the first to admit that's what it was. I needed to throw something because I was angry. Come on, all of us men, probably most women, too have been there as well. The only thing that was in my hand was my phone. So of course I threw it as hard as I could, that brand new iPhone 7 Plus. And needless to say, iPhone 7 or 7 Plus is don't go well against walls. But I'm glad that I had a backup. Demasi, I back up my iPhone quite regularly. How often do you back up yours? With iCloud backups turned on, that sort of happens automatically in the background, supposedly. Uh, I have run into issues where I would check and see that it wasn't backing up. But that usually happens uh, sometime early in the morning while your phone is plugged up and on Wi-Fi and you get those automatic backups. Now, I tend to also run a backup to iTunes locally uh, about every two or three months, uh, depending on how much I've changed my my phone or from about to do something crazy like install a beta make sure i do a backup so anytime i'm going to do anything major uh whether it's a major update to a new ios version or um running a beta and about to do that i'll make sure i do a local itunes backup and the reason you want to do that is if something goes wrong one you want to be able to restore your phone to the point that it was and two uh backing up to itunes if you encrypt there's a little checkbox there uh that will allow you to encrypt your backups that means it also backs up all your account passwords so no more signing into all your mail accounts and all that stuff which you typically have to do when you restore from iCloud backup and most certainly is one of those tasks I absolutely hate when I'm restoring my phone from a backup that is going back in and re-logging into all of those services although I'll tell you, 1Password has sure made that process a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> we'll link to our 1Password episode over at youronpay.com forward slash DM22. Now, speaking of youronpay.com, you know, your digital life doesn't stop at your computer or doesn't stop at your mobile device. You also need to take care to back up your website and your email marketing list. Anything you're doing that involves computers needs to be backed up. 
That's absolutely true. So we've also mentioned a plugin for backing up your websites, which uh, the one that I like and I'm currently using is WP Backup to Dropbox. Uh, and it does offer some other cloud options as well besides just Dropbox. But this will automatically back up your site uh, on a schedule that you set, back up the specific files that you choose. Uh, usually I try to back up everything, make sure you want to get your uh your post content and your database absolutely make sure you get your database do not leave out the database if you don't have that database you have nothing but uh doing backups is a thing that i have grown to do because i've had those accidents happen to me in the past where either i moved a website or decided to move host and uh yeah didn't have any files so now i'm starting this blog all over again uh, with no past content or you know something happens to a laptop and I want those files that I had. I may not need to restore that system to exactly the way that it was, but I do have files that I want on there. You know, I think about SSH keys. If I lose those, like, geez, I am screwed. There's no getting into this server at all. <laughs> it's so true. And those SSH keys, they are essential for you if you're trying to get into your servers. Don't know what we're talking about. That's okay. You don't have to know what we're talking about. Not only do you need to back up your website, your computers, you need to back up all of your digital resources. And what are some tools we can use to back up our resources, Demasi? Just want to run through a couple of tools that I use regularly for backing up uh, different things. I've mentioned the WP to Dropbox WordPress plugin for backing up your site. Uh, for my computer, I use a great app from a excellent developer called super duper well that's the name of the app the developer is uh shirt pocket which i think is a cool name i don't have shirt pockets but i like shirt pocket <laughs> and what super duper does is actually clones your drive so you can you know get some other options but at its base and the reason a lot of people use it is that it clones a full copy of your machine it makes that that drive bootable so if something goes wrong with your main system you can boot off of that external hard drive and get back to work and figure out what the problem is later also off-site backup is a good thing to have so you want to have something backed up to a cloud somewhere that is secure and protected but is not in your home just in case you experience some type of natural disaster and the service that i currently well i'm currently using an app called arc arq that lets me back up uh, to any just about any place of my choosing so that could be amazon s3 it could be a dropbox account it could be OneDrive, which is actually what i'm doing right now hmm. but another off-site backup service that i've had good luck with uh at least on the mac I, I recently heard from somebody that this application is not so great on windows uh at the moment but that would be backblaze uh and backblaze is an awesome backup application you set it up once you set it up it just runs in the background you don't have to check it it, it uh takes care of that and costs you five bucks a month uh, to back up any amount of data. So whether you're backing up 100 gigabytes or shit, 100 terabytes probably, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> That's awesome. We're in the same situation. We're paying for Office, but I'm not using my OneDrive space. Yeah, and that's why I like Arc. Like I've been a, I've been a Backblaze subscriber uh, in the past and I switched to using Arc for that exact reason. I'm actually paying for Office 365 Home. I have a whole bunch of... Uh, OneDrive storage that I'm not using. So if I'm going to pay for this storage anyway, it may as well do me some type of good, right? And let me back up some files and some external drives and all this stuff and keep that stuff secure. Uh, and it is encrypted before it leaves your machine. So, you know, that's nice. I uh, don't have to worry about anybody peeking in at your data, which is great. Back up your phone, computer, and email marketing list. ConvertKit makes it really easy to do that. Check out the trial. Yeah, and you guys definitely go get this ConvertKit uh, trial while it's available because it's not a forever thing, right? So check out ConvertKit at yourownpay.com slash DM22 for the show notes this week. And uh, Mike, anything else? Nope, just connect with me on Twitter at Payom, P-A-Y-O-W-N. And he's at Demasi, D-A-M-A-S-H-E. Thanks for listening. We'll chat with you guys next week. You've been listening to Your Own Pay Podcast. If you've enjoyed today's episode, visit yourownpay.com slash cast for exclusive content and to contact us today. We're eager to hear your thoughts and about how you're making this podcast your own. Thanks for listening. We'll be back soon. The Your Own Pay Podcast, yourownpay.com.